messages. What does this mean? So in simple words, it means whenever any foreign particle enters into our body and as a response of that foreign particle, our immune system shows some defensive mechanism or it shows some immune responses. So the science or the study conducted with this particular uh, uh, process in which we have a foreign particle entering and the immune response happening against the foreign particle this is what immunology is all about so these are some basic terms you can just go through and that is immunity is derived from the latent word immunis which means to exempt uh, what is immunity immunity actually means or it is referred to as the ability of an organism to resist the infection now what does this mean so uh, if you have seen or if you have heard from someone that some uh, what we can say some people have weak immunity and some people have very uh, strong immunity so what is something that defines someone or categorize someone into a strong immunity person or a weak immunity person so depending upon ki uh, how that person responds or res resists the infection by a pathogen you have seen some people catch cold as and when there occurs change in weather but some people rare of the rarest case they become ill or there is some uh, we can say any illness in their body so those people who can resist the infection they are more immune they have more immunity or they have stronger immunity in comparison to the one who who, who catches a uh, common cold i'm just taking the example of common cold it could be any infection so depending upon that we have strong immunity and weak immunity now immune system is made up of respective tissues cells organs which produce such responses against the pathogens immunology was originated by edward jenner and the term vaccination is given by louis pasteur just uh, keep these simple points in mind now talking about the kinds of immunity now this from this particular slide there is uh, what we can say important points coming up just we will just go through these points see uh, i am trying to give you a basic idea a basic understanding of immunology is particular presentation ke under we have not covered the every topic of immunology because uh, first thing i have also not studied the complete immunology to be very honest and second thing there is no point going through the complete immunology because that is a very very you can say it is a whole nation to cover agar hum sirf immunology ko dekhenge so we'll go through only the important points and jahan se questions frame ho sakte hain talking about the kinds of defense or the immunity we have innate immunity and adaptive immunity what do we mean by innate immunity it is also called as native or natural that means the immunity which is present in particular organism or a particular baby by birth means jab wo baby born hoga uske andar kuch uh, what we can say by birth immunity hogi that is what native immunity or natural immunity is it is present since birth it provides the first line of defense what do we mean by first line of defense that means when any foreign pathogen enters so these innate immunity cells provide the initial primary response to these foreign particles now it cannot be acquired during the lifetime obviously it is present since birth so it cannot be acquired during lifetime it operates against any foreign pathogen or the molecule there is no memory now what do we mean by memory and what do we mean by no memory now it is an important concept to understand and that is let's consider we have an organ uh, we not an organism just consider like you have a cell or uh, ya fir or simple tarike se agar aapne ye cheez suni hogi that is whenever someone catches chicken pox for the first time so there are less chances ki wo person second time bhi chicken pox uh, ko uh, if he or she would get infected by chicken pox the reason for that is when the chicken pox enters in our body for the very first time what happens our body creates some memory against it that if such protein or any protein related to this particular structure enters how the body have to react 
in the first time like in the first encounter when the body uh, encounters the chicken pox pathogens for the first time it does not have any idea about it so it cannot it cannot fight against it but in case of the second time it knows that this particular protein is there these spikes would be present this particular structure would be there and we need to find it uh, we need to fight against it this way so in case of in innate immunity there is no memory that means no memory is created it is antigen non specific there occurs rapid response there is very limited diversity that means those the cells which provide innate immunity are very limited in diversity the the cells involved in the innate immunity are first one are the natural killer cells then we have macrophages monocytes <coughs> sorry neutrophils <coughs> then dendritic cells and the mast cells they are found in the vertebrates and the invertebrates saliva tears mucus etc act as an external barrier and they activate the complement system of the body talking about the adaptive immunity it is complete opposite of innate adaptive immunity is also called as specific immunity it is not present since birth provides us secondary response that means when a body encounters the pathogen for the first time for uh, when the pathogen enters so first line of immunity the first defense soldiers are the innate immunity cells and after that we have the adaptive immunity so it is inbuilt by it is acquired by the birth after birth during the lifetime that means any organism acquire the adaptive immunity during the life means during his course of life he acquires the adaptive immunity it is capable of recognizing and selecting selectively eliminating the foreign pathogens that means uh, whenever a foreign particle enters so adaptive immunity can recognize and eliminate selectively the foreign antigens memory plays a very important role it is antigen specific there are a slow response it has very high diversity we have the cells of t and b antigen protecting cells and it is found only in the jawed vertebrates this was about it now we have the consequences of the antigen and antibody binding or the protection uh, mechanism of the antibodies against the antigens abs is the antibodies ags is the antigens so what does this mean so these are the various protection mechanisms of the antibodies that how antibodies protect against the antigens <coughs> now the <coughs> sorry the first one is <coughs> the first one is the activation for the complement that mean initially the first consequence or the first protection mechanism is the activation for the complement that is both the igg and igm let's study about igg and m then we'll understand all this okay pehle hum dusra wala part karenge and then we'll do this so we have the types of passive immunity so पैसिव इम्यूनिटी जो होती है देखो दो तरीके की इम्यूनिटी होती है एक होती है एक्टिव इम्यूनिटी एक होती है पैसिव इम्यूनिटी सो पैसिव इम्यूनिटी इज द वन विच कुड इधर बी नेचुरली एक्वायर्ड और आर्टिफिशियली एक्वायर्ड नेचुरली एक्वायर्ड का भी सब पार्ट होता है दैट इज इट कुड बी एक्टिव और पैसिव आर्टिफिशियली एक्वायर्ड ऑल्सो कैन बी ऑफ टू टाइप्स एक्टिव एंड पैसिव इन केस ऑफ नेचुरली एक्वायर्ड सो इट अफर्स बिकॉज ऑफ द natural exposure to the pathogen and naturally acquired passive immunity involves the vaccination natural exposure to the pathogen in this the person develops immunity or his own response to the microbe that means naturally whenever any pathogen enters our body enters the body of an organism so the natural response that person shows against that microbe is what is known as active immunity now passive vaccination jo bhi hame like if you remember about the covid so covid mein we all had vaccination so it is also naturally acquired but passive why because we injected those microbes but in less quantity hence it is passive in nature now we have artificially acquired so artificially acquired 
could be active and passive again. Active is transfer of the antibodies from one host to the other. And passive is when the lymphocytes produce outside, then introduce into the host. In this, the immunity resulting from the transfer of the antibodies form immune to a non-immune individual. That what does this mean? So artificially acquired ka matlab kya hota hai? Pehle humne, agar hum usko active ko samjhenge, active means humne ek host se dusre host ke andar antibodies ko transfer kiya. Passive means jab humne active se uh, jab humne first host se second host ke andar transfer kiya. So 